Hello, this is Lance Cleveland. I'm going to go over how to get started with Store Locator Plus. You can follow along by going to docs.storelocatorplus.com and clicking on the Getting Started Guide. To begin with Store Locator Plus, you're going to want to install the plugin by going to Plugins and Add New. You're going to search for Store Locator Plus. Install now and activate. With any Google Maps plugin, you're going to need to enter a Google Maps API key. You can find the links for this and the setting under the General tab, the Server sub tab, and scroll down to find the Google API server key. If you click the question mark here, when you hover over the box, you'll get a link to their website. When you click that link, you will be brought to the Google Maps API documentation site and you want to get a standard API key by clicking the Get a Key button. If you do not already have a Google account, you will need to set up a Google account to log in. I already have an account, so it's not going to ask me to create a Google uh, account. You're going to start here when you get through the Google account registration or if you're already logged in with your Google account, you'll get a page like this. You're going to create a project. We'll wait for the Google server to respond. They're very slow. They're getting hundreds of thousands of requests since this is a new requirement as of June 2016. Type in the name of your site. Does not have to match exactly. This is just a label for tracking purposes. And click Create. Leave this field empty. If you do not leave that field empty, you will have issues with browser restrictions. It is not allowed with a generic API key. They will implement that at some point in the future, but for now they're not tracking that and it will cause problems. Copy this key using this copy button. Make sure if you do copy it, you don't get any extra spaces. They do have extra spaces in there in some browsers. And then go back to your Store Locator Plus General Server tab and paste that key in this box. Make sure you don't have any spaces at the beginning or end. They do add those. And then Click Save. Now you're ready to add your locations and your Store Locator Plus page. So I'm going to go to Locations, Add, Enter my location, and I'm going to leave the latitude and longitude blank. It will be filled in by uh, the Google API, and click Add. If your API key is correct, you'll get a message like this that tells you that it's been geocoded. If you get an error here, there are different errors. Google will tell you what the issues are. The most common is that you have a browser referral issue. If you have a browser referral issue, it means that you entered in one of those optional uh, URLs and you'll want to issue a new key or go and clean out those settings and then update uh, your API key. So now I've got a location. If I go to manage, I see my location and I should see the latitude and longitude here. That means it's ready to be shown on the map. So I go to pages and I'm going to add a new locator page. And I'm going to just put in the name of the title just like a regular WordPress page and put in the store locator plus short code. Publish it. And view my page and I've got my locator with a map and my address uh, entry box and also showing my location and that's what you need to do to get started with Store Locator Plus. As always, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting Store Locator Plus.